Today I'm going to show you how to connect multiple iConnectivity interfaces over Ethernet to a single computer. Uh, this is a great and a recording studio type setup where you might have uh, some gear with an interface on one side of the room and another interface on the other side or in a, in a different room completely. As long as it's on the network then we can connect. And so I'm going to show you how to connect multiple of the interfaces. I'm just going to use two Mio XMs for today but you can use as many as you want and you kind of have to just re repeat this process. So what we're gonna do is my personal way, preference and way of doing this is to connect each device individually to the computer as the computer's usually the master uh, controller of the setup. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna send everything into the computer and then the computer will use a DAW to reroute what might need to go between the two interfaces. Uh, that's personally how I like to do it. So in this setup, I have MioXM007, and that has the Quark monologue on DIN1. And then I have the MioXM008, which has three controllers in the host port. And all we've done is connected both of those to an Ethernet switch, and the Ethernet switch is now connected to this computer. And that's how we have everything set up. So even if I click on here, you can see they're set up over RTP. And let's jump into that. So basically what we want to do is we want to connect a single device connected to one of these. So for example, the Cork monologue on 007, we want to connect to a single RTP port. We want that single RTP port to connect to a single session on this computer so that we can give it a name that makes sense to us. And we're not, you know, having to split channels and that kind of thing to access different devices. Uh, so I'd rather have multiple sessions. And what we'll do is we're just going to keep stacking sessions for however many devices we need for both of these guys. It doesn't matter which device it is, we're going to connect an RTP session or an RTP port to a network session on the computer. So let's let's show you how to do that. So let's go into the 007. This is the one I said I had the Cork monologue on DIN 1. So under the DIN category, I'm just going to click on DIN 1 and rename it to Cork monologue. So I know what I'm doing. I also tend to like, um, so if we were clicked over here, we can see that this is already going to RTP1. Um, so by default on the Mio XM, the first four DIN ports go to the first four RTP ports. And then RTP5 to 12 is where the host ports 1 to 8 go in and out. So I like using the default setup because I think it just makes your life a lot easier. Um, so I'm also going to click on RTP one over here and I'm going to name it the same. I'm going to name it the Korg monologue and this will show up on the RTP page. So I know which one I'm going to connect. So if I go back here and I go to RTP slash network, you can see it says Korg monologue over here. Now this is just the port name. Uh, this is not a bone sure name that we're changing, which is good. So the bone sure name is going to show up like this guy over here, it's this one right here. Um, we're actually going to take this and switch it from responder to initiator. What we want is we want the interface to initiate the connection to the computer uh, because it makes an automatic connection when you start your computer or your device, whereas the computer has no way of auto connecting to the interface. So this is the best way to do it so that you don't always have to keep connecting things. Um, so let's go into audio MIDI setup. Um, if you're not seeing this page right here, so I did a spotlight search for audio MIDI setup. If you're not seeing this MIDI studio page, go to window and show MIDI studio. And there might be a little button right here that says network kind of like the Bluetooth does, or you can just click on this little globe up here and you'll see this page. So what we want to do is we want to create a, one session for right now, and that's going to be for the Korg monologue. We're just connecting one RTP port. So we're going to do that. Now note in the bottom left corner here, there's a who may connect to me and you want to switch this to anyone, not just to computers in your directory because our interface is not a computer. And so you want to have anyone allowed through. So for the first session, let's call it um, something that I want to see. So I want to see uh, Korg monologue in my DAW. So local name is the name that'll show in your DAW and the bonus your name is what we're going to use to connect to the RTP port. Now, when you put in the bonus your name, make sure you click outside because if not, it can default to nothing and that would cause you connection issues because that's the important name to make the connection. Once you're done doing that, let's click the enable button. And then we're going to go back to Oracle X and I'm going to paste in 
you see I have IP and name here. Under name, we're gonna paste in what we just put as the bonus your name and click save. And now once the save, you see, you see an IP and a port number and then the name of the network session that I was connecting to. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the three devices connected to the Mio XM008. Now, since we have USB devices connected, we have to do the host reservation first. So we're gonna click on that. We'll click on the port reservation dropdown and we're gonna select our device. So I'm gonna pick the code 61. I'm picking the first port because I know that's where most of the MIDI data that I want is going. Um, you might see controllers from multiple ports. They do different things. Please contact your manufacturer to find out what they are doing. Um, and then I'm gonna select the Air 32 and then this one that says port one is actually a launch control, so I'm just gonna put that in there as well. And I'm gonna do much the same as the other one. I like to go into MIDI routing, so host one, just so I know where things are. Host one is my code 61. And so what I'll do is also name RTP5 code 61. Again, remember that the host port start at RTP5 and go ahead. And then we're gonna do this one, which is Air, oops, Air 32. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste it into this one. And then I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do LCXL, it's a launch control XL. Um, there we go. So I've copied that across and we're gonna go back over to the RTP slash network page. And you can see where they've named. So now it's easier to know where to start switching these into initiator modes. And we're gonna go back over to the MIDI studio and to the network page. We're gonna create three more sessions for the three new devices. And we're gonna do, the first one was code 61. Copy that in here. Uh, the second one was air 32. And the other one was launch control. So I'm gonna show you that you can actually name the local name different from the bonjour name. And for this down here, I'm gonna LCXL, just to make it a shorter name. All right, and you can enable the session right here, or you can enable them over on this side. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna come back and put in all those bonjour names. So for the last one, we did LCXL. Make sure all your spacing and all your capitalization is correct. Or you're gonna run into problems. Air 32 and code 61. And we're gonna hit save on all those. And you can see they've all made connections. Now that they're all connected, we can actually go into a DAW and send data between them. I'm just gonna open up Ableton Live because it's the first thing I've seen in my dock. So I'm gonna go command comma to get into the MIDI prefs. And what I would do is I would go through and enable the network for say my code 61 right here. So I have the track on and I would go to the output and I would make sure the track is on for wherever I want it else to go out to. So if I want to go to Korg monologue, so I can go from the code 61 directly to the Korg monologue. I'm going to have it on here and we'll use this first MIDI track right here. And so MIDI in, I'm going to use code 61. MIDI out, I'm gonna select Core Monologue. And if I click the in button here, you can see the MIDI data is going in. And let me open up a MIDI monitor here. This is MIDI monitor by Snoise. And uh, let me, actually let me delete this and go back into it because it was open before I set up all those network sessions. So you can see the Korg monologue is already sending lots of clock data. I'm just gonna filter that out real quick. And so if I click here, you can see my code 61 coming in. And like I said, you already seen the, um, the monologue data come in. So that's all we need to do. If you have any questions about this, uh, if you wanna add more devices, it's as simple as adding more network sessions and connecting to RTP ports. And this allows you to route between all these devices on your DAW, which is super easy. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support, uh, iconnectivity.com support. Thanks.